Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a TQDM progress bar in your Python program. It's really easy to implement in a for loop. First, you're going to install TQDM. On my Windows machine, I use pip, pip install TQDM. It takes like 30 seconds or less to install. Very easy. Next, you'll have a for loop for i in range 1000 let's say and you're going to do a bunch of stuff in this loop you want to see a progress bar to know as your program is running how long it's going to take so the simple changes you implement using tqdm you need the import statement from tqdm import tqdm and then in your for loop you're going to add tqdm and then parentheses around the range that's it now let's look at it in a running program so I wrote a simple bubble sort program here that's going to go through 5,000 items to sort them. Let's run that and see how long it takes. Sorting, 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 waiting. Okay, so it's done. Now wouldn't it be great to have a progress bar in between there so we know how long it's going to take? So with these changes, we already have the import statement and we just add tqdm around our range in the for loop. We save that and we run the program again. Now we see the progress bar, so we know exactly how long it's going to take. So that is our TQDM function. And this will work in a console window, it'll work in your Jupyter Notebook, it'll work in a GUI program as well. And it's very low overhead, it takes only nanoseconds adding to your running time, so it's very speedy and efficient. It's a great, really easy way to get a progress bar in your program. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.